I have not brought a new lounge fly bag in 2024 until now. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Bernard Tori here. How are we? I hope you're all doing well. So, can you believe it that I have gone four months into 2024 without buying a new lounge fly bag? I think my last one I got was in the either November or December lounge fly catalogues for 2023, which is, I'm quite impressed with myself. So, but the run has come to an end. We all knew it was gonna happen eventually. And I have got my first bag of the year right here and I'm so excited for it. It came out in the US, I think as a, ooh, either Box Lunch or Hot Topic, usually <laughs> between those two, exclusive. And last week, Geekcore just un randomly announced that they were gonna be stocking it and they instantly gave a date and time, which is quite rare because when companies announce they'll be having it, it's usually like a little suspension period but they straight away gave a date and time and it was for that coming Sunday, which was two days ago. I'm filming this on Tuesday. It went live on the website at 8 p.m. Sunday evening and I'm filming this Tuesday after work. So they had obviously just batched it on Monday and then next day delivery, which absolutely incredible service. I have ordered from Geekcore before. They're not one of my regular suppliers that I shop with, but every time I have shopped with them, I'm always so happy with their service. And I think you can agree, 8 p.m. on a Sunday, to getting delivered on the Tuesday while I'm at work. Ex excellent service, very happy with that. So this is a bit of a different lounge fly. I think this is like the first of its type in my collection. So it's not a mini backpack, it is a crossbody. So as we have like discussed in my Winnie the Pooh lounge fly collection series, I am starting to broaden my horizons onto crossbody world more. I was before just like exclusively mini backpacks. I think that's a good way to put it. But this, so, the world of crossbody bags is absolutely amazing. They don't get enough love. This one, I'm very excited for. I went on the website like 15 minutes before eight and I was all checked out. I was refreshing it before eight and I got it in my basket at 7.59. It obviously went up a few seconds early. So I was all paid and checked out by 8.02. And yeah, I'm not even sure if it sold out or not. They didn't post any updates on it about on their story so not too sure if it's still available or not but i was not hanging around to see how popular it would be i knew i wanted it so i was in out done anyway i think without further ado let's open it up because i will also just do a quick little spoiler this bag has a character on it which has never featured on one of my lounge flies in my collection before i'm very excited for this Also, I just kind of want to apologize for my hair. It is so straight. I've literally just washed it. I came home from work, had a shower, had a hair wash, got ready to film this. And my hair, when it goes so straight, <laughs> I use no heat on my hair, obviously because of the amount of color on it. On it, heat is a no-no. So I let it air dry and yeah, my hair is just so straight. I'm kind of going off on a little tangent about my hair while I'm opening it up. Story time about my hair, apparently. <laughs> there it is. It, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I have got a bag, a crossbody in my collection that I could compare this to, but it's not Winnie the Pooh. So this is the first of its kind in my Winnie the Pooh collection, which is very exciting. There's your first glance. There definitely isn't that many lounge flies in this style, so I'm very excited about it. And as I said, it has been out in America for a little while. And even over there, I haven't seen too many people post about it and I don't know why. When I first saw this bag, I assumed it was going to be an instant sellout popular bag, but I don't see many people talking about this bag. It kind of got released like under the radar. I don't know. This bag needs some more love, so that's what we're going to do for it today. We're going to give it some love. Just getting all the packaging off and then obviously I'll show you. I'm very excited as well to start thinking of like what kind of outfits this bag can go with. Because it could go with quite a lot, like colour-wise and character-wise as well. Look at it! Okay, wow, I, wow. So introducing Winnie the Pooh and Friends Balloon Cross Body. Look at that. Let me just tuck the tag inside so it doesn't spoil the view. Look at it. It is called a crossbody. It has got the crossbody strap inside. I did just see that you can attach 
I assume you'll put one clip here and then one on the alternating back to turn it into a cross body but I really like it just as this like I don't know if it'll make sense but just like a traditional handbag do you know what I mean that kind of style I like it just as a little like um cute okay so yeah when I said I think I have something similar to this in my collection I was talking about my R2D2 crossbody but no this is a completely different to it this is so much bigger it's got more compartments and it's more traditional handbag sort of style so let's talk we need to talk about it you've got the two top straps here in this really nice brown color and then all the metal hardware is gold so the zips and these little bits here I don't know what to call them and just tucked inside you have got the crossbody strap again in the same brown to match in with the straps oh no I'm sorry as I just got that out to get that out you've got these little bits in here so you've got one there and one over on this side so that's where you attach the crossbody to okay I'm sorry ignore me it's just I've got some bags where they attach onto the outside ones but this one has got so we'll get to the inside bit in a minute to discuss but on the inside bits here it has got bits little loops for you to attach the crossbody to so obviously the front we need to talk about you can see the character who is making his first debut appearance in my loungefly collection he is so rare in like Winnie the Pooh all together. I've got a few figures. I've got one Funko you can see there. And then I've got one figure. I think Christopher Robin only features in my collection twice. It is this really cute design. You've got the background is entirely printed scenery of the Hundred Acre Woods. And then you've got this 3D, would you call that 3D? It's not really, is it? <laughs> it's still a flat piece, but it's like, on a little tab at the top there of Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore and Christopher Robin that is so exciting riding in a hot air balloon and on the balloon is a map of the Hundred Acre Woods I really hope you can see that it's so cute I really love that I absolutely I've never seen this style artwork before for the characters they're like all got like really blushing cheeks and I've never seen this kind of like artwork of them before but I really love it that is so cute so yeah there's no like mixed textures or 3d elements or applique pieces or anything like that it is entirely printed it's just the balloon is on an additional tab so it kind of like floats above the hundred acre woods that is so cute and then if we flip it over to the back we have obviously got the all-important loungefly plaque it is on a brown plaque which matches in with all of the straps and all of that gold hardware on a cream backer this cream and brown combo i'm absolutely loving it is so stunning and then we have got a back design absolutely love rabbit so whenever i see he is featured on lounge flies it makes me so happy so the back design is of rabbit look how cute this artwork is i absolutely love it it's so different to like any other winnie the pooh artwork I've never seen this before. I might have like a research into this afterwards to find the artist for it because it's not the usual like Winnie the Pooh style. I really love it. It's so cute. Yeah, you've got Rabbit just tending his carrot patch. That is so cute. So yeah, that is really fun. The fact that we've got Rabbit on the back as a rare character anyway. Then we've got Christopher Robin, which is even rarer. So the inside of the bag. Obviously, we need to discuss the lining which is very beautiful but we also just need to discuss the layout of the inside as well i love this so we have got three compartments we've got this middle like pouch bit which is so cool it's zipped up and then inside it on one side you have got a little zipped pocket and on the other side you have also just got a smaller open pocket on crossbody bags like this where it is kind of like open with just some poppers i do like it to have like this in a zipped bit just for things like my purse and like my phone and things like that where you kind of want it more tucked away so if someone is if you are in like a busy area with these kind of bags in a busy crowd people can just like slip their hand in and grab something so if you've got this zipped bit you can keep all your important stuff zipped away so someone can't just grab and go so i do really like that it has got that in the middle here but then either side of that you have just got two open compartments obviously you've got your crossbody strap that is so obviously this is just one side it is the same on the other 
but it is really good. So at the bottom we have got a flat base, giving us a nice amount of storage. You could honestly fit so much in this bag with the little inner pouch and then these two outside pockets is really good i don't because of how the back is i don't know how i'm going to show you the lining but so it's a brown fabric i want to say it's like is that cream cream details of the hundred acre woods map i absolutely love that anything which has like the design of like the hundred acre woods map on it i absolutely love i just find it so beautiful and i love the artwork and i just think it's so intricate and detailed it is it's beautiful and obviously you can't really tell on the camera but it is literally like the hundred acre woods map artwork everything's labeled you got everything's on there i love it i do think i'd prefer it just as like a little like handbag you know just to put on you know my arm wear like that but it is nice that you have got the crossbody strap if you wanted to make it a bit of a longer bag yeah so you've got your zipped pocket there and then the two outside pockets just do up with a little popper this is honestly probably such one of the most stunning bags i have seen in a long time the different artwork for the characters is honestly so beautiful and the brown and the cream absolutely love is absolutely stunning so i did get this from geek core here in the uk i think it is exclusive to them over here and this was how much was it it's been two days £74.99 it's honestly I can't go over how beautiful it is so yeah let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of this bag it's stunning there's no other words it is just stunning I can't wait to style up with an outfit I've got a few things in mind that I could do with it but I'm I'm so excited Be sure to follow my Instagram link in the description so you can see other outfit combos I come up with for this because i'm sure i'll be posting them real soon so yeah that is the new winnie the pooh and friends balloon cross body bag what do we think i love it if you can't tell <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video it has been so so long since we've done a lounge flight unboxing on the channel which is a bit irregular for us we used to do them all the time i'm now having a lot of self-control only getting Winnie the Pooh bags that I absolutely love, love. So we've got four months into the year and I think this is a very worthy first bag. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do pop that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more from what, do click subscribe down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to ding the occasion bell. I mean, you might as well. You're already down there. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.